In a world of ever-increasing competition, brand reputation has become a crucial differentiator for not only products and service brands, but countries are also joining the branding trail in order to gain competitive advantages. We begin by looking at the revenue streams that the countries produce, so we look at GDP, and we look at that in terms of primary, secondary and ter tertiary GDP. So primary comes from agriculture, secondary comes from manufacturing, and tertiary comes from services. There are much higher margins the further you go towards uh, tertiary, and they generally tend to be a lot he he more heavily branded. But you can brand strongly at each level and generate much more wealth for your country by doing so. Well, Brand Africa is an initiative by Africans for Africa to try and redress or reimagine the image, the reputation and the competitiveness of the continent. We believe it's time that Africans themselves drive the African agenda and not rely on the world outside to determine where we should be going. Kenya played host last week to the official announcement of the top 10 country brands in Africa. A set of tried and tested parameters were used to work out the country's rankings on the continent's scale. South Africa led the pack, followed by Nigeria and Egypt, while Kenya emerged eighth on the rankings, up one position from last year. Other than its strategic location, improved infrastructure, high growth in the telecoms and manufacturing sectors largely contributed to its ranking. Well, we bring in several uh, parameters to value the brands. So first of all, we take uh, basic inputs, you know, what is being spent to develop the brand. Secondly, we look at attitudes towards the brand. So we look at brand equity, and that comes from market research. How favorable are people towards the Kenyan brand versus other brands? And then finally, we look at the output. You know, what are they actually generating in terms of GDP growth? And on all sides, Kenya is actually going upwards. The main contributing factors have been, one, the expansion of the service sector uh, to receive communication and the efforts that government has done in the construction of the infrastructure, the reforms in the judiciary, the reforms in the police force, and the reforms in the public sector management. I think that has improved a lot because that has improved business climate and we have been able to attract new investments into Kenya in the last one year. Of what significance are the ratings to the top 10 ranked and unranked countries, you may ask? The ranking itself is not, is not the ultimate goal, but the ultimate goal is really uh, to use the countries which come up to the top and learn from them what it is that they have done well, uh, what policies they've enacted, what businesses they've created, uh, what leadership they, uh, they, have, uh, they have impressed on. So it's, it's really a benchmark in terms of what, the, what, what we can strive towards and what we need to learn from more than the ranking itself. So I don't think countries should be so much concerned about being number one or number ten, what they should be concerned about it should, be, it should be about what is it that makes us distinctive. The countries in the top 10, the one thing about them is that each and every one of them has a distinctive personality, has got a distinctive character, has got a distinctive contribution to the African economy as well as the African dialogue. They give you a benchmark. You know what the people who are being rated very high are doing so you can benchmark against your competitors. Number two, it highlights for us our strengths and weaknesses so that we can be able now to come up with programs to sustain our strength and also programs to focus on our weaknesses. For countries to remain competitive, stakeholder engagement in policy formulation and implementation is critical. Our governments need to work together to improve the collective image of Africa. If South Africa improves, and Kenya improves, and uh, Egypt improves, and all other countries are left behind, still our collective image will be negative. So as our, uh, our governments discuss in the uh, African Union, I hope the branding of Africa and building the image of Africa will find space in the dialogue at the African Union. Everybody else has got an agenda for Africa. Africans themselves, we need to drive our agenda uh, because Africa is only going to be uh, successful if we understand uh, where we fit in in the world and we are becoming uh, we become a contributing part of that world and rather being a distributing part of the, of the world. I always say it's time for Africa to stop begging, to stop borrowing and, and, and to start blaming. It's time for Africa to, to start leading. Going forward, as Teba stated, it's not what your country's ranking is, but how each country leverages from the ratings. For I and Kenya, I'm Lois Washira.